Well, dear friends, listeners, and followers, and the blessed people who are believers, God bless you all. I pray truly that you are blessed and highly favored. This is Senior Pastor Michael Whitlock with the Nazarene Ministry. We've been working on Mark. John Mark is actually his name. And we left off on approximately verse 28, but I'm going to start this one a little bit uh, higher on the verses. But let's, let's pray. Sacred and Holy Father, I want to thank you for every blessing anew today. I want to thank you, Father, for how today was a smooth day. And it's because of you. You made everything smooth. This is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice, be glad in it. I rejoice, Father God. Awesome day. Just an awesome day, my Father. Thank you. Thank you that you have been with me every step of the way. Thank you for your forgiveness. And thank you for all the flock members and people who have helped this ministry. Praise the Lord God Almighty. Thank you, Father. All right. Amen. Holy Father, I know your presence is here. I know your Holy Spirit will speak through us. Oh, how we love you, Father God Almighty. You are so, so blessed, Lord. So blessed. Thank you. What a true and blessing you are, Father God Almighty. To know you, be involved with you, such a blessing. All right, turn your Bibles, your Holy Scriptures to Mark chapter 1. And I wanted to start at verse 20, if that's okay. And on verse 20, it says very clearly, and immediately he called them and leaving their father Zebedee, he in the boat with the hired servants, they went after him and they went into Kephernahum and immediately on the Sabbath, he went into the congregation and taught. That would have been the synagogue and taught. And they were astonished at his teaching for he was teaching them as possessing authority and not as the scribes. Now, what do we mean by that? Well, in the hierarchy of the temple, the Kohanim, the Levitical priests, the Aaronic priests, they had all the power and authority over the temple. The scribes worked for the priest of the temple, and they taught, but they just didn't have the kind of confidence and or positivity that they should have had. Let's remember that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ Nazarene is God on earth. God, through the Holy Spirit, impregnated Mary. We need to remind ourselves of this. I need to remind myself of this. A virgin, an Alma, an absolute young lady, she gives God Almighty a body. And coming through her womb was the doorway into this physical reality for the non-physical Father God Almighty. God had to find a way to come into earth and become physical. He did it through Mary. Mary voluntarily said yes to the message from Gabriel or Gabriel, Gabriel in Hebrew. So the bottom line is this, the holy, sacred virgin brought from the heaven above the non-physical Father God into this earth. So the person we call Yeshua Messiah, Jesus Christ of Nazarene, is God on earth. And this is the fulfillment of the prophecy of El Manuel, or Emmanuel in English, meaning God with us. So, of course, he would have a exuberant, awesome energy about the Word of God in that congregation, and they would pick up on it. They would pick up on that energy. All right, so we read on, and it says, And there was a man in their congregation with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, saying, Ha! 
What have we to do with you, Yahushua of Nazareth? Did you come to destroy us? Meaning the evil spirits, the evil ones, those many demons, devils, unclean spirits that want to infest us like a parasite so that they can control our bodies, cause our bodies to be sick and ill, and get our bodies to do evil things. Did you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the set-apart one of Elohim, or your translation would say, the Holy One of God Almighty. Remember, I'm reading from the Hebrew. And Yeshua rebuked him, saying, Be silenced and come out of him. And throwing him into convulsions, the unclean spirit called out with a loud voice and came out of him. You know, one time I was asked some time ago, to come to a revival here in Las Vegas. And a man came in and he identified to me that he was uh, being plagued by um, some feeling. And the Holy Spirit came upon me and told me to pray for him. And I did, and when I did, he went into, like this man in the synagogue, he went into a, a, a very extreme reaction. Now, there were a lot of people, the, the place was packed. So there were a lot of witnesses to this. And the people kind of freaked out. They they were wondering, you know, because he's, he they were wondering if he... Uh, might need medical help. And I told everybody to calm down that this was a reaction to the Holy Spirit and praying for him in the name of Yahushua Messiah. And that congregation was only used to the name Jesus Christ. And I, led by the Holy Spirit, was praying in the name of Yahushua. And I mean, this spirit jumped out of him and he literally began to, and I don't want to gross you out or whatever, but he began to spit up blood. It only lasted for a little while. The Holy Spirit's telling me, worry not. He's going to be fine. This all has to come out of him. So, of course, we got him a waste can, and he's getting rid of the blood into the waste can. It only lasted a minute or two, and then all of a sudden, he was clean and clear and felt like he had never felt before. The people there were astounded. Now, of course, they shouldn't be astounded with me because I'm just a man. I prayed in the name of Yahushua. I prayed for the Holy Spirit to come upon him. I prayed. I was just a physical voice that the Holy Spirit used to do that work. I don't have any... Uh, I'm not God on earth. I'm just a man. I don't have any ability that I can claim and say, oh, if I touch you, you'll be healed. No, 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 no. I do know how to pray. And I do know how to be obedient to the Holy Spirit that leads me and tells me, now here's what you pray. Here's what you say. Do it. And then I watch the miracle of the Holy Spirit. And I'll give you another one. Before a congregation, many witnesses were there. There was a lady in my congregation, and she got up and was walking away, walking normally, everything. And I said, Sister, the Holy Spirit is telling me that you have something wrong with your left foot. She spun around. She was so so amazed by that, that the Holy Spirit told me her left foot. I said, and the Holy Spirit wants me to pray for your left foot. So I asked her to go into, out of the congreg the area uh, uh, where we worshiped, into this outer room. Now, 
all of the people in the congregation, they hear this occurring. And so they all come into that room because they want to watch what's going on. And the Holy Spirit's telling me, get down on your knees, take off her left shoe. I asked her if I could. She said, yes. She had a hole going through her foot, like a hole. And she was scheduled the following day, which, of course, we were meeting on Sunday. She was scheduled on Monday to go and have surgery uh, to, in some way or another, they were going to close that up. The Holy Spirit told me to pray, lay hands on her foot. I put my left hand on the bottom of her foot, my right hand on the top of the foot, doing what the Holy Spirit said to do. I prayed like the Holy Spirit was telling me to pray. And then the Holy Spirit told me to look at her and tell her in three hours she will be healed and that wound or hole would close up. Three hours, I mean, three hours and a minute or so after three hours, she called me back and she said, Pastor, my foot is healed. She goes, I won't have to go there tomorrow. But she said, I'm going to go there tomorrow and have them see that my foot is healed. So she never had the surgery. The Holy Spirit, if we would just be sensitive enough to listen to the Holy Spirit, Yeshua Messiah, Jesus Christ of Nazarene, will cause that helper to help us heal those who we pray for. Now, those were true actual healings that happened that were witnessed one witnessed by hundreds the other one witnessed by probably 30 something people or more all right now so we read on and there was a man in the congregation with an unclean spirit and he cried out this is why i pray all the time I rebuke, bind, and renounce. Cast out permanently all unclean spirits, alive or dead, coming from the place where Satan is or in this place where I'm at. Permanently, I cast them out. Amen. Now we read on it. And now let's go down to verse uh, 25. And Yeshua rebuked him, saying, be silenced and come out of him. So if you've got people that have, you suspect that they are possessed by an unclean spirit, you call me 702-588-9237 and let's pray with those people. Have them uh, on speakerphone. And let me pray with them. And through the Holy Spirit and the power of the name of Yeshua Messiah, Jesus Christ of Nazarene, we will get them clean. We'll get those spirits cast out of them and their illness, body, bodily weakness or evil doings will be done and over and gone. All right. So and throwing him into convulsions, the unclean spirit called out with a loud voice and came out of him. And they were all so amazed as to the reason among themselves saying, what is this a fresh teaching with authority he commands even the unclean spirits and they obey him people we've got to know and understand trust and believe and have faith in the fact that when we pray in the blood and name of yahushua messiah jesus christ nazarene all evil has to obey Every demon, devil, unclean spirit, power and principality, Satan, the Antichrist, the false prophet, brujas, voodoo people, witches, sorcerers, I don't care who they are or what they think their title is, when we pray in the blood name of Yahushua Messiah with power and authority and faith, that's it. It's done. It's over. They're done. Period. And news about him immediately spread into all the country around Galilee. And coming out of the congregation, they went straight to the house of Shimeon. That's Hebrew. Or Simon Peter. The rock. I'm adjusting my Bible here. Bear with me. 
I got the fan on and it's quite warm here in uh, Vegas. And it's kind of blowing my pages around. So Simeon or Simon uh, Peter and Andre and Jacob, which is Jacob, and Yohanan, which is John, and the mother-in-law of Shimeon, okay, that would be the mother-in-law, his wife's mom of Peter, sick with inflammation, and immediately they spoke to him about her. And having come, he took her by the hand and lifted her up, and immediately the inflammation left her, and she served them. And when evening came, when the sun had set, they brought to him all who were sick and those who were demon-possessed. And the entire city had gathered at the door. And he healed many who were sick with various diseases and cast out many demons and was not allowing the demons to speak because they knew him. So in other words, we are to imitate our sacred Savior. Paul says that we are to be the imitators of Christ, and he's right. We do what he does. We don't have to reinvent healing or reinvent the will, as they say. Just do what he says, pray like he says, and have power and authority in how we pray, and believe, and trust, and strength, and courage in what he says, and what he's done, and it will happen for us. Now, it took me a long time to get to this point. We are at verse 34, and that's where I'm going to stop. First of all, before I pray for you, I want to thank Rodrigo, of Romans Lawn Service for helping this ministry. And if you need lawn service, please call 702-528-9373. Rodrigo's Lawn Service, 702-528-9373. And please let him know that you heard about it on our broadcast. Now, let's pray because I'm being led by the Holy Spirit and it's the Holy Spirit's telling me, yes, my son, to pray for those who are demonically or possessed by unclean spirits. And maybe you're possessed and you don't even realize you're possessed, but I'm going to pray for you. And if you say amen to this prayer and have belief with me, agree with me, because what did our Lord and Savior teach us? The two or more come together in my name, the name of Yahushua, Messiah, Jesus Christ, Nazarene and pray and agree in prayer. Say amen to that prayer. There will I be. So Messiah is right here at my right side praying with me for all of you out there that may have unclean spirits or demonic possession. Dear sacred and holy Father, for your glory, for your son's glory, for the glory of the Holy Spirit, I am being led by the Holy Spirit to pray for people in the name and blood of Yeshua, Messiah, Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, the Holy Mashiach, our blessed Savior. I pray in his blood and name that those demons be cast back to hell permanently, that unclean spirits be cast out and back to hell permanently from all of those who will hear this program and need the kind of prayers that will set them free. Move them to tell people about your miracles, Yeshua Messiah, Jesus Christ, the Nazarene. Amen. Blessed be the Father God Almighty. Till we meet again, happy trails to you. Remember, if you need to contact this ministry, 702 588 9237. I love you, people. And remember, send your donations. We are coming into summer, obviously, and we need to raise money to help the homeless have water and a sack lunch. Send your donations. 
at the bottom of this video, you will see the information needed to be able to send us a donation. Thank you so much. We love you. Keep listening and sharing this program with all your friends. Amen.